I have already explained why Luke was an antichrist, a wolf in a lamb's clothing. Now I shall explain why Paul was. It is recorded correctly in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 33. I warn people, do not take a solemn promise, an oath or a vow in any shape or form, as all these come from the Antichrist. All these belong to the Antichrist, the devil. Yet, almost all the world's courts, governments and the religions use them. Most judges, politicians, physicians, policemen, soldiers and clergy take Antichrist oaths to uphold and perpetuate many abhorrent laws which in fact break the law, which oppress rather than liberate mankind. To take a vow or an oath makes a mockery of God, implying that God is not present in everything but must be invoked by a spell. It also implies that the truth is not really important. It is only important when it is invoked in a place like a courtroom. The truth is always important. The reality is also that evil people have no respect for oaths or vows anyway and they use them to fool those who do have moral value and do respect oaths and vows. To take a vow or an oath also asserts a psychological hold to keep a course of action even when that action is futile, counterproductive or evil. Now Paul, the Antichrist, would have known this if he really was from me, but he didn't. He took a vow while with Aquinas and Priscilla. Jephthah in the Old Testament is a potent, potent example of the evil in taking a vow. Jephthah took a vow which led to him murdering his own daughter. Even though God or no spirit did ask for it, it was all in his mind. Paul also encouraged the killing and eating of animals contrary to the fifth commandment, thou shalt not kill. Now, I could not openly forbid the eating of animals in my last life or I would have been murdered immediately for blasphemy. However, it is correctly recorded in the Gospel of Matthew that I said, I require acts of kind compassion, not sacrifice. And I told everyone to find out what this means. Now, sacrifice in its original form means the killing of an animal. Contrary to the fifth commandment, however, Paul encouraged people to kill and eat animals. He said that the food on his plate was of no matter or no concern to anyone else if it did not bother his conscience. Yet we know today in this world that people are dying of starvation and malnutrition because they cannot compete and pay the prices for grains which are being fed to animals to be fattened up 
and slaughtered to feed richer people. So if you eat meat and animals, you affect someone else. Not just the animal, you affect and create suffering with people. Paul also warned women to be obedient to their husbands, which is contrary to the first commandment. Do not have false gods before you, i.e. obey only God. It is written that Paul was overtaken by a spirit which said it was me. I tell you it was a devil pretending to be me. And in the Bible it is written that God said do not test the Lord your God. I tell you this is the word of the devil. I say to you, do test the truth. Do test God so you can know the truth. Paul, however, did not resist the spirit. He did not check to see if the spirit which blinded him was really me. I heal and liberate. I do not enslave and inflict disease. I do the opposite. Paul, however, was a cold-blooded murderer. He was an easy victim for an evil spirit, a wolf in lamb's clothing. And using sweet words, he tricked people into swallowing evil. <laughs>